All right. Oh, miniature box number three. The mistake. All right. I don't know for sure that this box is a mistake. I think it probably is for this reason. I set a number that I was willing to bid and I allowed myself to go beyond that number in order to get this box of miniatures. I got caught up in the auction. In the last moments, I decided couldn't let it go and I needed to bid higher. And that last little bit that I bid higher put me over the top. It was this, this moment where I was excited that I had won, but I realized, oh no, now you have to pay that. So let me show you why. Okay, so this is what the auction looked like. Now, I can tell from these images that some of these are very good miniatures, but just from the way these pictures are taken, the way they're laid out, I don't know how complete all of these are, I don't know, they seem to all be adhered to bases and platters, and I don't, it's very, very strange. There are some cool dragons in here, and some of these can be worth a lot of money, but I don't know, I don't know. So I ended up paying this much for them with this much shipping and this much tax, and that's too much for speculating on miniatures, especially when you can't get a good sense in your head of what's there or how complete they are or really what condition they're in. So it's a gamble. I feel relatively confident that I'll be able to get my money back at least, but um, that's not really how I should be spending my time. But regardless, I'm gonna have fun opening up this box and looking through them, I can tell you that. So let's go do that now. Okay, box number three. This is the one I've been concerned about. I mentioned before, I got caught up in the auction for this one. I paid, I think I paid too much money for it, but until I get in here and see what's actually in here, I don't know. Now, I was surprised at how heavy this box was. It makes a lot of noise when I shake it, but there's not a ton of movement. I do think it's probably packed decently, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. So I'm gonna move it over to the side open it up and uh and get us a look at what's in here okay it says dragons it says dragons on the side it said dragons and wizards but the wizards is is crossed out so it's kind of bumming me out that I didn't get the wizards part of it. And, oh God. So, how well did it ship? Well, take a look at the damage to the paper that they printed. Tattered. All that's metal marks from the lead. Some of these old ones are lead. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did put some, uh, some soft packing material in here. I don't know, I don't know. Vintage lead and pewter figures, Walpartha, Grenadier, and others. <laughs> let's, let's start digging into this thing. But as you can see, it's a lot of weird bases. Uh, all right. Let's let's move this aside and and get into here, one piece at a time. All right. This wooden base has. My guess is going to be this is some kind of a grenadier miniature just because of the base. It's really nice. I'm going to have to chisel that off. And then I have two miniature bases. This one for sure. This one maybe that seem to have their miniatures broken off. That could be a thing that happens. I'm I'm not thrilled about that possibility, but we could start seeing that all through this. Three heads of a hydra. It's got to be in here somewhere. Or 
No, no, no. That's part of this miniature. Okay. Nice. At least it's all together. Crafter miniature. All right, just a, another piece of wood. All right, this one wood base just has a minotaur with a broken axe head that is now glued to the tail and base of the minotaur. So that's been glued that way for a while. Uh, yeah, I don't know who makes that one. Interesting. Uh, yeah, a little gold pile on this one. You can tell that this had a bunch of miniatures glued on it and the bases have come off, which I think is a good sign. Griffin, missing a wing, but we'll probably find that wing. Oh, here's a little three-headed dog. We're going to chisel him right off there, too. So strange. These bases are so strange. <sighs> All right. This demon guy, its base is trashed. I'm assuming this happened in shipping. I'm seeing a whole bunch of metal that just traveled together and got damaged that's going to be coming out of this box. I'm not happy about that. This guy, real worse for the wear. We'll see if I can bend him back into some semblance of shape. And if he has his wings. All right. Here's one of the pieces of metal that is doing so much damage to other miniatures. That is huge. I don't know what this is. It says uh, W-A-N on the bottom. But we'll have to see what's the story with that guy. More dragon parts. Citadel plastic base. Here's a grenadier figure that I have not ever seen. I'm assuming it needs some wings too. Something tells me that goes there. I don't know what I don't know what this guy is. Kind of got a look of a grenadier though. Definitely a grenadier dragon. I think this is a swamp dragon, a part of one. He's got missing pieces all over the place. Uh, speaking of missing pieces, here's a handful of loose parts. Wings. There's a little dragon. This must go here. It's got broken toes that are legitimately broken off. That bums me out. I don't know what this is. Some kind of maiden. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons second edition trading cards for the miniatures. Awesome. Never seen those before. Hey. Look at that. I did get wizards. Broken wizards. There's a wizard. We're just going to throw him over here. Not too interested in a wizard. <whistles> this. Pretty sure this has an S on the inside. I think this was made by Superior. Never seen any of these larger superior models. That's kind of awesome. All right. Another base with some broken. Here's a, a were rat that has been bent all the way over on the base. I know this miniature. I don't know if he's salvageable. That's too bad.
plastic tree. Another broken wizard. Very strange Grenadier Camara. Had that one before. Hmm. Balrog. Strange metal base. Wings, base parts, more wings. More wings. Ooh. End of his tail is broken off. That's a grenadier dragon. It's a nicely painted maiden on a unicorn. Ah, going to be a broken toe. All right. Unfortunately broken. A little pewter dragon reading a book of spells. All right, I'm going to pause right now and make a prediction. As broken as this stuff is, there is already more here than I had accounted for at all. And I'll show you why. All right, here's the stuff I've pulled out already that we've been looking at. Assuming that each one of these is going to have all the broken or missing pieces in the bits, that I can put them together as sets, they will sell. But I just took a bunch of foam off the next layer on this box and saw this. And below that, there's more. And I think, no, that's it. Two more layers, but this is more than I expected. I could not get a good sense from this auction what was there. This is more than I expected. So I, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Okay, let me let me put this all back, all back together again. All right, uh, so I'm just going to move this box off of the table to give us a little more room. And I'll start pulling from there. There's nothing on the bottom base of this. I don't know what company made this dragon. I have never seen it before. It's kind of wild. Same with this one. Nice. Kind of dragon man. Don't have any idea on this one. This one I've seen before. He's got a saddle. Nice. All right. Metal tree. This one is just, just wild. I think this might be by Superior also. Very strange. That one goes there. Ooh. 
Oof. Giant griffin, I think. Although I don't know that it's all here. I don't think the wings are here at all. Chimera. Citadel Chimera. Sold one of these recently. Look at this thing. Partha Pewter or Perth Pewter. My God. This is a Balrog. I think I called this a Balrog earlier. I think that's maybe Raw, King of the Balrogs, and this is a standard Balrog. Spoon teaks, dragons, and a, an egg or something. A thimble, because why not? Dragon head. And just loose in the bottom of the box. There's just tons of pieces. Just broken pieces. Here's a pair of broken wings, which is a not so great, but they'll glue. Painted red. They probably are for him. Nice Grenadier Bear. Like a rider of some sort. Broadsword. Broadsword Miniatures. It's a miniature company I haven't seen a lot of stuff for, but there's some kind of little dragon for them. This is some kind of awesome old Games Workshop Salada Minotaur. That's great. Kind of undead rider on a horse. Don't know what this is, but it's pretty cool. All right, another griffin or hippogriff. Not always. I don't always know the difference. I think hippogriff has a horse back feet, and griffin have lion back feet. Did I get that right, nerds? Nerds. Like I'm not. Okay, I don't know. This thing's crazy. Just the other broken toe for this guy. There's a Ravenloft trading card. Al Kadim. How do you say that? Alright. Another Ravenloft. Jurgen. Okay. The box is empty. Let's talk about these things. So there are a ton of miniatures here I've just never seen. And I'm kind of bummed, like, the wings are just not here for this. It does have wings. They're not here. This will never be complete. It's a bummer. It's cool. Maybe someone, well, it's broken, arm broken, or leg broken off there. But maybe someone will be interested in it, as is. I don't know. I hope that as I go through this, I find... You know, some of these other ones do have the pieces to make them complete. Because uh, i got to tell you, so many of these dragons I've never seen before. And it's actually a bit of a task to even think about putting all these things together. But you know, there was one thing that I did not really go over yet. He has everything now. If he has wings, this one will be complete. Oh, and the top of his head. Hopefully there'll be a top for his head. That's missing. <laughs> Forget about it. And I don't remember seeing it, so. No. <sighs> Might be out of luck on that one. That's a bummer. So the thing about all this stuff, all this messed up stuff with all these individual pieces, a lot of them are incomplete, but a lot of them aren't. I do think I'm going to make my money back. I might even make a little bit of money, and there may be a couple pieces in here that I do decide I want to keep. But there was one more thing in the box that I want to show you. Oh, 
Rogon, the Balrog dragon. Okay. Tons and tons of pieces of artwork. Lair of the Dragon. Heritage USA. So that tells me what dragon that is and who made it. There's tons of information in here that I'm not going to have to uh, look up now. Shadow Dragon. Tons of these I've never seen, and there's a lot. So, Puma Silver Dragon. Partha Paint Instructions. All right, kind of bummed. I know a lot of these aren't here. I wish they were. I wish I had all of these. Spectral Dragon. So, when I go through all of this, hopefully I'm going to be able to put it all together, figure out what's complete and what's not. And that will be my first step before I go to the internet to figure out just exactly what the hell I have here. So, all right, did I make a mistake here? I really may have made a mistake here, but I'm gonna learn a lot more from this than I expected, so I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet, spend the money, and uh, and see what happens. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna see what happens. Uh, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me for these, uh, these three buys of the miniatures. And as I find other miniature sets for sale, I'll keep buying them and keep making these videos. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.